Okay, welcome guys. Uh, this is a Superconductor Technologies Hybrid 98 Crow Cooler. Um, the unit is mechanically broken. This was given to me by a friend. Um, and uh, so we're gonna do a little testing to see uh, how much gas pressure is actually inside of one of these cryo coolers? They don't come with a service port, um, so we got to put one on. It does have a process stub, which is nice, uh, but it's super short, so we can't use like a BPB or anything like that. It also has some kind of weird epoxy on the end of it, so that's going to be interesting. We're going to use a uh, yellow jacket line tapping tool um, to uh, just see what the pressure is uh, considering this is a noble gas and it's just helium uh, there's no use in trying to recover it, it would be impossible uh, on the uh, the digital gauge we could see we got about 174 psi or so but uh, there was another gauge hooked up in the loop I read about 230 or so, um, but that fitting was leaking pretty good, so I figured somewhere around 245 PSI in the actual uh, body there. So, I'm going to heat up this little uh, process stub and go ahead and pull it out. Um, first, got to get rid of that epoxy on that, uh, that process stub there. So, the process stub is copper. Uh, has 45% brazing rod to the stainless body of the cooler. Uh, considering that we tapped into this, there's no pressure in this uh, in the vessel, so it's pretty safe to do this. I probably used a much bigger tip than I should have for that. Um, this torch comes with a whole bunch of different sizes. It's a acetylene air. It's kind of cool. So the next thing we need is the actual service port itself. So we're just gonna grab one here. This is made by Just Better. Um, there is something inside the cooler, and so I don't wanna, you know, accidentally bump it. So I'm gonna shorten this uh, process or the service port here. That's the uh, the brazing rod. It's safety sil 45. It's 45% silver flux coated. And our purge gas is going to be argon today. We're going to flow about uh, 5 to 10 SCFH of argon. Uh, you can use nitrogen. Uh, doesn't really matter. Just uh, needs to, to displace oxygen. And the only reason I picked argon is it's heavy and so it's going to sit in the bottom of this vessel. I'm going to start uh, using a small tip here and uh, with that 45% uh, silver brazing rod and then I'm going to step it up to a bigger tip and then I'm going to finish it off with a 15% phosphate copper brazing rod on the uh, on the process stub there. After the all the brazing is complete I'm going to finish up and clean up the braze and polish it up with some scotch bright. I do put uh, 300 PSI of nitrogen on it and bubble check it and uh, made sure it held pressure. Everything looked pretty good. And um, that's, the, uh, that's the finished product. That's how to put a service port on a cryo cooler and give it a recharge of helium. Um, I'll have to get a actually working get a working unit and test this out um, this was just kind of a, a practice run to make sure that it's possible and as far as I can tell it definitely is so the next step is to buy a working cryo cooler and uh, or not working at least uh, as long as the mechanics are good enough. and then you know try out this uh, this procedure and uh, 
hopefully bring one of these old cryo coolers back to life. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below, and uh, I would be more than happy to uh, to answer any questions you may have. Have a good one.